Hi there, thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCord, I'm the host. Today's topic is breakups can change you in a really positive way. Breakups are because we're not meant to be with that person for whatever the reason is. We don't see it at the time for the most part, especially if we're the one that was dumped and we're sitting here picking up the pieces of our heart that's shattered all over the place. Usually it's around the six month mark. Sometimes it can take longer. Once you start looking at your life and what's, what's changed since your breakup, you will see that you were meant to be in a better place. So breakups can make you stronger. They can make you angry. They can make you hold a grudge for a long time, but it's totally your choice. It's your choice on how you choose to handle it. If you look at it with optimism and, and try and sit down and figure out what happened, why did you end, what, why did your relationship end, what actually transpired, what part did you play in the end of this relationship? Because if you're in the anger stage, you're never going to think you had anything to do with this breakup. It was always their fault. It's their fault that it ended. They didn't try hard enough. But you know, when the anger and the, and the hurt and the sadness and everything goes away, you can look at things a lot more objectively. And know that the universe is really on your side here. It doesn't feel like it. But trust me, it is. Because if you look back at some of your relationships, even back to high school days, or maybe 10 years ago, or five years ago, do you not feel that you're in a better place? Now there is an odd time that maybe there was a valuable lesson for you to learn, but you didn't learn it and so you're still stuck. That can happen too. That's why it's really important if you're holding on to anger after a breakup for a long time, you really need to see somebody and talk about it because there's something that you're internalizing that you're not allowing yourself to get over. And that could be a little bit of your ego stuck or, or just maybe it's happened to you a few times and you haven't learned the pattern that you are making over and over again. Maybe if somebody needs to point this out and help you through this. The faster that you learn from dilemmas and obstacles and trauma situations in your life, the higher you go into being the better version of yourself. Sometimes this can be the push, literally the shove, to get you out of a situation that you have been repeating or a place that you're just not where you should be. But sometimes we don't see this. And so we have a little help from our friends, whatever friends you want to call them, that push keeps pushing us to be better, to be in a, in a higher place, so that we can evolve. A lot of us stay stuck for a long, long time and repeat pattern after pattern. But really sit down and analyze what you learned out of that relationship, what you got out of it, what you can have better in another relationship, what you learned about yourself or need to learn about yourself. There's always something that comes out of it. When we have time and we really look back, we weren't really that happy with them. We think we were, but we weren't. There was a lot of things missing. So start looking at that now in, in your new life that's coming, coming forth for you and understand that there is something better for you. Somebody's leading you onto a better path. Don't be angry, don't be hurt. Remember, it's your choice on how you deal with this and take the good and throw away the bad and move on to a much, much better place. Thanks for listening to Cyber Sue today. Please subscribe to my channel, like the video, and leave comments and show ideas. I love to hear from you. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.